Well, the Delta variant continues to spread throughout the country with cases in many states increasing rapidly. Researchers at the Delta say the Delta variant is more contagious and it's not fading anytime soon. And of course, with so many children unvaccinated, doctors and parents are keeping an eye on the uptick in cases. Laura Queso joins us now with more on this. Laura, hi. Hi, good <laughs> afternoon to both of you. Yeah, health officials in Mississippi are warning other states after seven children remain in the ICU and two on a ventilator with a Delta variant. Keep in mind though, Mississippi is the state with the lowest vaccination rate in the country. The Delta variant spreading a lot more there. But doctors want to make sure that does not happen here. It starts with getting your yourself vaccinated if you are eligible. Doctors say we need to keep our children who aren't eligible for the vaccine in a sort of cocoon around vaccinated people. That's really the best way to protect them at this point. And also they should wear a mask. Locally, there are vaccine trials happening for young kids. In fact, a vaccine trial for kids six months to five years old started earlier this week in Cleveland. It's a much lower dose of the vaccine prepared in a special sterile environment. Dr. Shelley Sanders of Sanders Pediatrics says he had about 30 spots to fill and more than 200 parents signed up to get their children to take part in that study. And he's received some pushback with some asking, why do you need to do studies on young children? The answer is exactly what's happening in Missouri. Uh, because if we find out that, um, uh, that all of a sudden variants, whether it's Delta variant or Epsilon or there's Lambda, there's seven others that are out there. If we find out all of a sudden that COVID is starting to kill kids, it's unethical for us not to have a vaccine that's available to be able to vaccinate uh, them. Locally, children in our area took part in the Pfizer study for five to 11 year olds back in June. Dr. Sanders believes we should have a vaccine available for them by the fall. He says vaccines are our best defense against this. Well, we are definitely waiting on that vaccine to come out for the younger kids. Mm -hmm. No word on any underlying conditions of the children that are in the ICU and on ventilators in Mississippi, but it raises the question, is the Delta variant more vigorous with children? Is it more dangerous for children? Yeah, so a lot of people have been asking that, of course, and the best information comes from Israel at this point. They are seeing an increase in the Delta variant in adults, but not as much in children. According to the CDC, children are less likely than adults, we've been talking about this, to have serious COVID-19 infections. However, in rare instances, they have developed severe cases that led to hospitalization or death. But as of now, when it comes to the Delta variant, we also don't have as much research, but right now it's looking like, again, more so adults than the kids. Mm. Fingers crossed that it stays that way. Yeah, hopefully. Laura, thanks.